Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your mid month forecast from March 17th to 31st. So, guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. So, today we're going to go over the overall, and then I'm going to get some advice from the romance angels, which you don't have to take if you don't want to, it's up to you, as well as some career and finance advice. And remember the career and finance, I always have the career and finance on the mid months as well as the monthlies. Obviously, this is the mid month. And considering everything that's going on right now, I'm also going to um, get some advice at the end pertaining to um, whatever you need to know or what spirit needs to tell you. Okay, so stick with me till the end. All right, let's work on this Scorpio. So tell me what's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from March 17th to 31st. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from March 17th to 31st? Cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from March 17th to 31st? What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from March 17th to 31st? What is going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from March 17th to 31st? What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from March 17th to the 31st? Oh my God, this card again today. <laughs> Scorpio, I have seen this card pretty much on every sign. <laughs> and you have it too. Twin flame soulmate connection going on here. A choice towards love. Yep, there you go. See the heart card. And uh, it's because somebody who had walked away physically or mentally. So there's a twin flame soulmate going on here, coming back around here. And uh, someone that you love. And somebody who may have walked away physically or mentally. Two plus four is a healing recovery. And eight is putting the worker effort into it. So what's your blockage here? There's a choice to be made around the situation. Uh, the sun card shows me that there is something to do with someone's happiness with the sun card energy. And uh, yeah, complete happiness, 10 of cups. So someone's making the choice and it's based on what is going to make them happy. So that seems to be the blockage. The choice needs to be made. That's, that's what it is. And it's around someone's, what is going to make someone happy, 10 of cups energy. Uh, two is a choice and three plus one is around stability and stabilis and 10 is a completion around the situation. That's the blockage right now. So at the foundation, we have the 10 of swords energy. There's something to do with uh, someone who's hurt or is recovering here with the 10 of swords energy. And this is uh, someone is going to communicate with the birds card. They're going to talk. Someone is going to talk here about their recovery or getting over some kind of hurt or pain. And they're going to feel, and there's an energy of uh, people feeling like, or somebody feeling like their hands are tied around the situation. So there is an energy at the foundation. Uh, uh, someone's going to be healing or recovering here with the 10 of swords energy or completing something here pertaining to hurt and pain. And they're going to talk to you about the fact that they feel like their hands are tied around the situation or there's an energy of someone feeling like their hands are tied and they're going to communicate that with the birds card energy so in the past there was a there was a person that wanted to defend their position they felt like they had to defend their position uh, against other people and uh, this is because of something to do with some kind of change or uh, some kind of migration here or some kind of improvement around the situation. And there was some type of message of love or new path in love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There was a lot of thinking and contemplating around the situation to put the work or effort into this. So at the head of the matter for you guys, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And I said, you guys are gonna be talking. So I see the page of wands. Now that does represent messages. And uh, the messages of passion or someone's going to explore some things here around the situation, if my camera will focus. And the ring card can be in a commitment and or something to do with marriage or someone's going to explore things. They're going to have some kind of commitment going on, maybe a prior commitment happening, which is going to cause some burdens and challenges around the situation with the 10 of wands energy. Hmm. There's some thinking and contemplating here about completing the situation. Mm, there's some burden on someone's mind, that's for sure, that they're really thinking about. They want to send a message of passion or they want to take this, they want to explore things with you, Scorpio. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So what's going to happen in the near future? Okay, in the near future, you're going to be dealing with some worry and anxiety here. Okay, you're going to feel like you're imprisoned in your thoughts around the situation. 
And the reason why that is here is because of the book, some kind of knowledge that you know about. And Six of Pentacles is showing me the reason why there's worry is because of something to do with possibly something that's not an equal give and take Six of Pentacles energy. Nines are about wish fulfillment. Two plus six is seven, eight about putting work or effort into it. And six is about healing and recovery around the situation. Mm. That also explains that energy of this person feeling like my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about it. If there is something to do with some marriage or commitment or an engagement already there. Yeah, that's definitely going to cause some issues with an equal give and take there with the six of pentacles energy. All right. So let's see what's going on with your subconscious. All right, Eight of Cups energy shows me that you want to walk away physically or mentally because of something to do with loyalty or a friend here. And okay, so you definitely want to do some travel here with the Cherry Card energy or you want to use your willpower to take charge of the situation because there's something to do with a friend that could be influencing things or something to do with loyalty around the situation. And it's like you're like, should I walk away from this situation physically because of something to do with this uh, uh, issue around loyalty? Hmm. Okay, eight's about uh, putting work or effort into and one plus nine is your wishes being fulfilled there or wanting your wishes fulfilled there. What's the influence? Wow, we keep getting this card of you feeling like your hands are tied in the situation. Look at that. Eight of Swords is showing me the influence for your romantic love life for the uh, 17th and 31st is there's an energy of someone's like, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about this. Because of the tower card, which represents isolation, separation. Because of someone's hurt or pain or someone's getting over some kind of hurt or pain with the Ten of Swords energy. Eight's about putting work or effort into this. And one plus nine is ten, which is uh, an opportunity or completion. And then ten again, completion around the situation. So someone does want to put the work or effort into completing this, but they're, they're in this mental energy of like, there's nothing I can do about this. My hands are tied here. Huh? Interesting. So what is your hopes and fears? You're hoping for this new opportunity or potential renewed opportunity of long-term commitment, something spiritual here with the cross card energy. Oh, okay. So maybe this is a fear here. Okay. So you're fearing that this new opportunity, a potential opportunity, there's some burdens and challenges because someone's not being honest here with the seven of swords energy, right? Someone's being sneaky or deceptive there. Yeah. Seven's a lot of thinking, contemplating three plus six is seven, eight, nine about wish fulfillment and an opportunity. All right. So let's see what's going on. There's a, there's a lot of, uh, a lot going on here. Uh, definitely in your situation and a lot of worry, a lot of stress here. So let's, let's see what the outcome is going to be. Ooh, what the heck's up with this? Out of nowhere, look at that. Four of Wands energy. This is a marriage, long-term commitment, stability, right? And the birds in the cards, because it's Lenormand slash Tarot, is showing there's something to do with talking about this. And the reason why that is there is there are some burdens and challenges because someone's in their head. They're indecisive about what to do here. Why? Um, let me first clarify what that Four of Wands is about. The Scythe card represents something that's being decided or a decision that's being made because someone has been waiting around for their ships to come in for the right opportunity. Three of Wands energy. Why is the Two of Swords there? This represents emotions or finance because the fish can be money and finance or it can also be emotions or it can be movement. Uh, okay. The Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy new perspective, new ideas, or immaturity. Mm, okay, let's pull the next card down here. Oh my goodness. Um, there's a person that feels that they're at a test of faith here around the situation. Um, they feel like their wall is up around here because they don't, they don't want to get hurt. And they're having stress and anxiety around this. Why is the, why is that there? Because there still needs to be some healing here with the tree card energy. Why is that there? Because, oh my God, this person does want passion though. The Knight of Wands energy. Okay, let's break this down. So there's some waiting around or this has been waiting around that's happening here uh, because it's something to do with a new perspective or new ideas around the situation. And there is a person that's like ready to take an action towards their passion. They feel very passionate about you. And there's a decision being made here or something that's being cut away or cut out because of emotions with the fish card or something to do with finance. 
and money. The tree card shows me that there is some healing that's starting to take place, obviously because we see the influence, there is somebody that is getting over some hurt or pain because of isolation. So they're really having a lot of hurt and pain. This person that you're, that is, is a part of your romantic love life that's influencing this. There's a lot of hurt and pain because of isolation. Um, and it's, it's showing that there's, there's talk about marriage, long-term commitment, but there's still a little bit of a burden and challenge because there's an indecision because someone doesn't want to get hurt or there is a, there is a person that does have their wall up around the situation and they feel defensive. Although light is coming into the window and, uh, and then in the end card being the tree card, I do feel that there's going to be some healing around this and even potential passion too, between you and this person. Okay. So let's get you some advice. Okay, and if I look at the numbers, four is about stability and stableness around a choice and fulfillment of wishes. There's an opportunity that someone is thinking and contemplating about because of change. Yeah, knights are action, wishes are potential, and three, building or working towards something. All right, can I have some advice for my Scorpios for March 17th to the 31st for the romantic love life? Can I have some advice for them? Oh my goodness. Definitely. Obviously we have in the beginning part, the twin flame soulmate card, right? So <laughs> what comes out? Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you're the one Scorpio that's defensive about the situation or you're not sure, yes, this is your soulmate. Free yourself and take back control of your life. Okay. Cause it, 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 you have a sense that you're running around in a circle here and you're going around in circles around the situation, you're going to have to free yourself and take control of this. Obviously you want to, I see that in your subconscious with the cherry card energy. So they're saying, yes, this is your soulmate. Free yourself, take control of this. Cause it looks like there's some waiting around for a decision. Um, and this is, this is, uh, you're in your head and you're feeling defensive about this because of something to do with healing here. So they're saying, yes, this is your soulmate. And obviously in the current situation, I see your twin flame soulmate card there. Okay. So, and my God, the soul, soul, soulmate twin flame cards are coming up so much, uh, in the next few weeks. My goodness. All right. Um, can I have some advice for Scorpio's career and finance for March 17th to 31st? Can I have some advice for Scorpio's career and finance for March 17th to 31st? Okay. So clean energy food. That makes sense. All right. So right now it's a time for you to focus on really watching your diet and being careful about what you eat here. Watch out for processed foods and eat energy, you know, pertaining to vegetables and stuff like that, that are going to give you clean energy here. Okay. Um, and it's saying when you fuel your body with healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels, which gives you the ability to focus more. Okay. And, oh my God, so many people are getting this one too. So many signs are getting this one. Abundance mindset. Because there's a lot of stress and anxiety right now, um, you know, this, this can put blockages up in the way of your abundance here. So you got to think about the fact that this is going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right when it comes to your career and finance and abundance here. Okay. So just keep, uh, be careful about what you're eating. All right. Keep, uh, you know, pure diet and also clear any negative thinkings around your abundance here. Okay. All right. Let's also get you some advice or something that spirit wants you to know. All right. Is there something that you want to tell Scorpio for March 17th to the 31st? Anything that Scorpio needs to know? What do they need to know? Show me the card to see March 17th, 31st. Okay. feels good. Okay. So they want you to know that you're protected. Scorpio, you are protected. If my camera would ever focus there. Yeah, there we go. Your home is protected by angels. So they want you to know that what they want you to know is you're protected. All right. You're divinely protected right now. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and in its inhabitants. I ask that you, you post guardian angels at each window door and ensuring security. Thank you for guiding my finance finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, and taxes. So they want you to know you are protected. You're divinely protected. Okay. Just work on, um, watching what you eat. Okay. Eat some pure organic foods, uh, watch the processed foods and, um, try not to have a negative mindset right now. Okay. Around your abundance. 
All right, my Scorpios. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe, and I'm going to send you some healing light, healing loving light here. Guardian angels and ancestors, please help me to send Scorpios healing loving light at this time. Thank you so much for all of your help. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I will be releasing the weeklies in the next couple days. I love you guys and have a great rest of your month, okay?